Fox 5 is working hard to help you navigate the strip and all the surrounding areas. Thousands of locals will be impacted by the race in November, be it while driving around or they're working there. Joe Veal is here to talk about the main road closures on race day and what F1 is doing to make sure all the strip workers can get around without any hassle. Yeah, so there are a lot of meetings, a lot of discussion taking place right now to make sure all of the planning makes for a smooth event. And Fox 5 is working to get all of this information out to you with F1 just over a couple months away. These are the major road closures locals will face when race events are held November 16th through the 18th. On Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, roads will begin to be closed at 5 p.m. Outbound lanes around the track will be open to allow cars to filter out, but then once all the car traffic is gone, roads will be completely closed until race activity is over around 2 a.m. So let's go through the main closure areas. Number one is Las Vegas Boulevard near Fashion Show Drive. Two, Spring Mountain near Treasure Island. Three, at the top of the screen, Sands and Howard Hughes Parkway. Four, Kruger near Koval. Five, Flamingo near Link Lane. Six, Flamingo near Las Vegas Boulevard. Seven, Harmon before Las Vegas Boulevard. In the upper right of your screen, eight, Harmon just past Koval. Nine, near Koval. And 10 at the bottom of the screen, Las Vegas Boulevard near Harmon. Now, F1 just discussed these closures and times with the Clark County Commission, with Commissioner Marilyn Kirkpatrick a bit irked, wanting more information clearly laid out for the public. We're not closing the strip for seven days. Um, we are certainly impacting the strip. Um, Might as well. Would but, have been easier. And how about the 100,000 strip employees who will need to navigate F1 with pre-race activities and race days? A weekly meeting with the properties to talk about employee mobility. Through the properties, we're going to assist and, and develop the plan. That's right now, that plan includes running the monorail 24 hours a day, securing additional parking lots for employees, and using shuttle service to get them into work and back. I'm trying to be nice because I said I would try to be nice because now we got a problem solved, right? We're just under the gun in a short time and I can no longer complain. I just have to try and help fix it. Now keep in mind those closures we just showed you are just on race days. There will be other days when cars will practice on the track and there will be closures for that as well. And there will be other locations that will be closed such as ramps. Of course we will work to keep you updated every step of the way.